Today we're going to look at how to populate a Google form, this Google form, with a range from a Google Sheet, this Google Sheet. So right here you see we have a list of long list of beer names. And this question is actually even in here a few times. We need you to put to choose a beer name several times in here. There's one and there's uh, two and it keeps going five times. And so we want this list to update dynamically based on when someone adds a new beer, when we make a new beer. So we wrote this script, which is actually pretty short. And even this section just repeats five times. So without this, it would just be up to here. That entire thing can do this entire task. So to walk through the script, here's our function name. It adds items to beer names. So first we're going to do is we're going to get the spreadsheet file. This uses the pre-written code in class from Google Scripts. So I use spreadsheet app open by ID and I give it the ID. The file ID is right here in the top. It's the in the URL. So now in spreadsheet SS, I have this entire file object. Then I need to get the sheet I need. So in that object, I get a sheet by name and I put in the sheet name. So now I have this sheet right here, this one right here that I need. So next step is to get the range, obviously. So first I get the last row of the sheet. I say, give me the last row. So that will give me 192 because there's no data below that row. So now I have that last row. Now I can get my range. I can say my beer names are in the range that I can give it. So of the sheet, get the range, start in row three, column one. So I'm starting right here in row three, column one, right here, A3, because I don't want the headers. And then I want to go until sheet last row minus two. So I want 190 rows because the last row is 192. I don't need these two because those are headers. So I need 190 rows. So it's starting row, starting column, number of rows, number of columns. So number of rows is 190. It's 192 minus two. And then only one column. I just need the first column there. So I would have the range. Then, then I need the values from that range. So the first range, which the first one would just give me the range. The second one is going to give me the actual content of these cells. And then I'm going to sort it because when I have the answers here, I want it to be in alphabetical order so people can quickly find the beer they're looking for. So now under beer names, I will have, and I'm going to run this so I have my function selected. I'm going to run it right here so we can see what we have when we have beer names. So this will just take a second to run. And then we'll look at it. There we go. So now I'm going to view my logs. And there's my list of beer names. And it's sorted and everything. So it's an array of arrays. If you look here, there's two brackets. The outer one is the outer array. And the inner one, then each item on the inside is its own single array. That's just how Google Sheets returns it. And that works fine for us. So there's our long list. And it's ready to go. So now we have our data that we will populate the form with, right? We got this entire range from A3 to A192, and we have that in the script. Now we need to put it into this question response. So uh, very similar to the first part, I'm first going to open the form, form app, open by ID, and there's the ID, and same as the other one, it's just this part in the URL right here to there. So I open it, and now I have my form object. Now with that form object, I need to get each question that I want to populate. So form, get item by ID, it's called an item. And this one's a little bit tricky. To get the actual item ID, you need to right click or two finger click on the item here, inspect, and then find the right question. So as you mouse over, you'll see it, it shows you, it turns blue and green up here depending on what you're over. So I need that beer name thing. So here I am, see when I'm on this, it's blue up here. Right, so there's my data item ID. That's what I need for the this one six three four seven blah blah blah. One six three four seven blah blah blah. So there we go. So now item one is going to be this question. So I have it. Now I just do, and this is just the syntax, but it's the item is the object. You have to pull it as a list item, and then you just set the choice values to the beer names, and then I do this five times. So super straightforward. When I ran that script a second ago, it actually just repopulated that whole list for all five questions very quickly. And so that's really it. So then if you want to, you can either run this every time someone edits this file, which is probably a little bit much and weighs down the sheet a little bit. So I don't usually do that. And for our purposes, running it once a day was fine. So I then clicked right here to add a trigger. And you'll see it right here. You can add a new trigger if you want to. You can say what function to run. 
generally you're just going to have head here from form and you can so this is based on time driven so what i did in my case is i wanted to run once a day so you can have it run based on an event from another from something that happens in a sheet or a form or you can just have it be time driven so i just chose it time driven i did day timer and i just said once a day and i said if there's an error i said notify me immediately so that's what if i click save that created this one right here so you'll see right here, you can look at some of the details, the past executions, you can see the history, right? So it's run twice so far. And you can edit it if you want to, and you, here you see the things I chose, right? Add items to beer name is the function name, time-driven day timer, midnight to 1 a.m., blah, 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 so on. Notify me if there's an error. And that's actually it. So then it will run this function once a day between 12 a.m. and 1 a.m., and it will do what you want it to do. So the code will be in GitHub, the video is obviously on YouTube, and you'll have access to this stuff if you do need it. Please reach out with questions. Thanks.